videos in this module, we are going to discuss about what are the solutions for first question in quadrilateral in exercise 1. So, here they are given quadrilateral, we have to write the sides and all what they are asked. So, here sides are, so P, S, S, R, sides are P, S, S, R, R, Q, Q, P. These are the sides what they are given. Next, angles. So, these are the all angles. So, angle P, angle P. Q, angle R, angle S. What is this? All the points P, the two lines of joining P, Q, R, S. So, diagonals. What is meant by diagonals is the line which is going to join opposite vertices in quadrilateral is diagonals, the, the line. So, for P, R is the one opposite one, for Q, S is the one. So, diagonals are P, R and Q, S. These are the diagonals. Next. Adjacent sides they are asked. Adjacent sides means for any side, same vertex will be there. For any two sides, one vertex will be there as common that the two sides we can call it as the adjacent sides. So for P S, S R is adjacent side. Next, for S R, R Q is adjacent side. Next, for Q R, P Q is adjacent side. Then for P S. PQ for PS, PQ is adjacent sides. So these are the adjacent sides in that. Adjacent angles will be for angle P, angle S, and angle S, angle R, angle R, angle Q, then angle Q, angle P. These are the adjacent sides to each other. The joint, the angles which are beside that angles. Next, opposite sides are there. So for PS. RQ is opposite side. For RS, PQ is adjacent sides. Opposite angles. So, for P, R is the opposite angles. So, angle P, angle R, angle S, angle Q are opposite angles. So, our next question is, here they are asked, what is the angle B? Find. Reminding all angles they are given. So, here let from angle sum property of quadrilateral what is meant by angle sum property of quadrilateral sum of all the interior four angles will be equal to 360 degrees so here already they are given three angles what angle we have to find is angle b we have to find it that angle will be x degrees so angle e plus angle b plus angle c plus angle g will be equal to 360 degrees so here what is that angle e 60 degrees angle b x degrees angle c 120 angle d will be 80 degrees that will be equal to 360 degrees so 6 120 plus 80 degrees will be 200 degrees so 60 plus x plus 200 will be equal to 360 degrees to so 200 plus 60 will become 60 degrees sorry 260 plus x degrees will be equal to 360 degree x will be 360 minus 260 degrees then here 100 degrees so x will be flat angle b will be 100 degrees so if you are found the, like this on self please subscribe if you have any doubts please comment below and thanks for watching this video